Since 1997, the Mars Global Surveyor spacecraft has been imaging the surface of Mars. In at least five of the archived images, unusual circular rings with average diameters over 20 meters have been recorded near northern polar dunes. E20-01114 recorded September 2002. SP2-53807 recorded September 1998. M20-00416 recorded October 2000. SP2-50805 recorded August 1998. MOC2-147 is a NASA image showing a a portion of image SP2-53807. M19-01495 recorded September 2000. The cause or origin of these unique features remains a mystery. NASA has proposed explanations such as exploding gas and springtime thawing of frozen CO2, but these theories usually come with the qualifiers speculation, thought to be, much remains unknown, and not well understood. The existing theories raise more questions than answers. There is, however, another possibility, an explanation that's known to match ring shape to date, time, latitude, and surrounding surface features at multiple locations. Image SP2-53807 contains hundreds of rings in a field of small dunes. It was observed in this image that the orientation of ring elongation matched the direction of sunlight. Ring after ring after ring precisely aligning with the sun. In addition to the alignment with sunlight direction, ring distortion or directional change was noted in cases where the rings transitioned from flat ground to slope dune surfaces. These two qualities imply that the dark rings are shadows cast by features on the surface of the planet. To test this theory, a computer-generated 3D model of a shape that causes ring shadows was created. Mound dunes, a large Barshan dune, and a crater were also modeled. Lighting angles and directions were generated for hourly intervals of a 24-hour solar cycle cor corresponding to latitude 76.7 north and a solar longitude of 79.0 degrees where 0 degrees equals the beginning of spring and 9 degrees equals the beginning of summer. Shadows were then rendered by the computer. Cycling through the simulated Martian day, we see the rings changing shape dramatically as the sun inclination angle goes from a maximum 23.0 degrees to a minimum of minus 3.6 degrees. To better compare the MGS images with computer simulation, a model of a portion of the image SP2-53807 was created. Once again, lighting inclination and direction were generated. At latitude 87.7 north and solar longitude of 25.8, this results in continuous sunlight with a minimum solar inclination of 6.3 degrees and a max inclination of 16.9 degrees. Pausing the model at what would be 3 o'clock Martian time, we can zoom in on individual rings to compare them to the NASA image taken at 2.30. Ring directional changes at transitions between flat ground and dune in the model matches the MGS images almost exactly. For the ring at the lower left of the model, in addition to the transition points matching, the bright white reflection of the dune can be seen through the center of the ring in both the model and the MOC image. A computer model was also created to simulate the conditions of image E20-01114. In this MGS image, four rings are visible against a large Barshan dune. Identical material properties were applied to all components and shadows were rendered for each hourly interval. As we cycle through several Martian days, we can see that at this latitude and season the sun never sets. 
Observe how ring shadows shorten against the dune, then lengthen on the flat ground. To make a side-by-side -side comparison of MOC image to model, the contrast in the MOC image was increased to bring out more detail. A bright band was noted along the bottom of the MOC dune, so the slope of the dune model was increased to 30 degrees along the bottom, resulting in a visual match. Taking a closer look at the second ring from the left, the first thing worth noting is how the shadow-causing object nearly disappears against the ground. Contrasting this are the dark ring shadows and the bright dune reflections. Also, both the MOC image and the model rings are wide on the flat ground and thin on the dune slope. In addition, both model and MOC image display a hook on the right side as well as the bright dune reflection through their centers. MOC image M19-01495 offers two intriguing ring shapes. With the sunlight inclination of 25 degrees, it is difficult to imagine a feature that would produce a horseshoe-shaped reflective ring, especially considering this shape spans flat ground and dune slope. For example, a crater formation produces a frontal reflection and a crescent reflection in the back. One configuration that does produce a horseshoe shape is a layered mound or layered spherical structure. Light striking the back slope and sides will be reflected skyward. while light striking the front becomes trapped by layers above. This results in a gap in the bright reflective ring. Note how in the NASA image there is no white reflection on the sunny side of both features. The model shows a similar pattern. Also notice how dune reflections match in both the model and MOC image. Although not readily apparent in the top view of the SP2-53807 model or the shadow rendered simulations, the ring creating features were all modeled with a layered structure. A ground view in the direction of the yellow arrow allows this to be seen. A view from the middle looking right gives us another perspective. A view from top right toward bottom shows height in relation to the dunes. A ground view of the E20-01114 model reveals the same layered structure. Tree-like shapes on Mars may seem like an impossibility. However, this model with a layered construction similar to a spruce tree creates both bright reflective rings and dark shadow rings that closely match the various Mars Global Surveyor MOC images. All the elements needed for life are available at the northern polar locations, high concentrations of water in the form of ice, carbon dioxide, and sunlight. The recent discovery by the European spacecraft Mars Express of methane in the Martian atmosphere lends more support to the possibility of present-day life on Mars. For technical analysis of these images and several more dark spot images, visit the Mounds on Mars website.